only in the half. It's not the score he was looking for. Time to check those stats. Well, the scoreboard says they're winning, but you wouldn't have thought so looking at those stats. Hmm, that's pretty deep, Richo. It's half time and no doubt the second half is underway. You can motivate by fear and you can motivate by reward. But both those methods are only temporary. The only lasting thing is self-motivation. Brown put a chance if he keeps a cool head. He'll need his Saturday or Sunday best from here. Has it got the carry? That'll be brought up by the coach of training. Out of bounds near the goal. Greenwood coming onto the ground. The mark is taken by Edwards. Jams it on the boot now. Hunt had no chance, but at least he made an attempt. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Oh my God. The Magpies in front. He'll be disappointed with that effort. Their disposal efficiency has been fantastic, but Richmond need to begin taking more gambles if they're going to cause some damage on the scoreboard. He marks the ball. Grimes with handball. Griffiths has a kick. He really had to make more of that. Disappointing kick there. Shade to bring it in. Otten has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. He gets above the crowd. Pace kicks it. Controlled by Crocker. He's really a ball magnet. Whack. Have that, mate. No one in the goal square. I don't think he envisaged that result. I would have expected him to nail that. Rance is one of those talented players with a golden boot. His kicks are fantastic. He gets boot to the ball, lining it up with the goal now. Sinclair with a terrible kick. Out on the floor. Terrible. Out of bounds. Dangerous spot near the goal. Gets boot to leather. Hooley looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Jams it on the boot. Hunt there to mop it up. He lays off the pass. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richo. Yes, he's giving 100% right now. He lays off the pass. Floston puts his head down and runs in. Chalk up a goal for the Tigers. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre backs. Grundy gets the tap, ends possession. Intercept by Marich. Gets the kick off as he's taken down by Greenwood. He's got the footy in his hands. He grabs it on the run. Intercepted. Goes short with a hand pass. A chance right here to rest back the lead. Oh Less than a goal of difference. The Tigers still in with a chance. That's one area of his game that does need improvement. Too far out to score, surely. Well, if you could hand pick a position, this is it. Straight in front of the goals. Otten hand passes to space and hopes for the best. Anderson puts the ball in the hands of fate. The ball is on the ground and it's picked up by Martin. He collects the loose ball. Grundy with the ball. Griffiths gets the interception on the bounce. Hand passed by Crisp. Boots it. An easy grab for Tiziani. Approaching the goals now. Tiziani was taken home. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Testing shot outside the 50. Shaki in the back. Hand passes. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. Finding the running player. Grundy with the ball. The Magpies by four points. He'll be disappointed with that effort. Great mark. Booted by Asprey. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Cochin shoots off the handball. Bounces favorably for Edwards. Penetrating hand pass. He doesn't know the meaning of the word fear. In fact, it's fair to say he doesn't know the meaning of a lot of words. Collected by Wills. She's running hot, Richo. He's using the ball superbly, Dennis. He's had lots of touches this match. Marks. Rance is a first-class decision maker. He appears relatively unhurried when under pressure and constantly finds the best option in heavy traffic. 
What a great skill. Punt with the kick. He marks the ball. Boots it. Takes that one strongly. Gets boot to leather. Well, yes, he is a bully, but he's not a mean bully. He's more a teacher, the kind of guy who'd take your lunch money and invest it for you. Pick up by Gotcha is in his possession. Takes possession. Hunt should be embarrassed by that. Grimes sends the ball on its way. Prestia takes it well. A rushed kick. Greenwood gets the ball. Picked up under pressure. Edwards dodging for no reason at all. We get a ball up on the wing. Marriage wasn't even close to that tap, and he'd be crazy to think that type of effort will win any time soon. Floston on the ball at the moment. Lambert just stopping for a quick dance. He has the ball. Grabs it and takes off. Look at him go. Almost, but not quite. That's one area of his game that does need improvement. Shade has some potential, and he'll really be able to unlock that potential if he has some continuous effort. He cuts the ball off, gets a handball to the running man. His run-up looks promising. It's through for a point. That's one area of his game that does need improvement. Shade is a great kick, and if he can maintain that accuracy under pressure, he'll elevate to the elite category. Nice interception. It's intercepted. He handballs it. Interception. Gets a handball to the running man. Passes by hand. The Tigers get the badly needed goal. The Tigers on top. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Grimes gets the ball. And will get a ball up. Marriage directs it down. Handballs. He smashes and bashes it. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. Did you like that term, Richo? If Richmond can maintain their structures and continue playing on their terms, then this game is a foregone conclusion. So it's just... There's the siren for the final quarter, and play is underway. You can always rest easy knowing that you gave 100%, win or lose. Almost a touch of synchronised swimming about that mark. That was the third Shelke in no hurry as he prepares for the kick. An important kick for the lead. All eyes are watching. Chalk up a goal for Colin. The Magpies get back in the lead again. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Marriage with a big fist on it. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Martin with the ball. Superb handball. He's had lots of touches this match. Cleanly picked up. He has the ball. Crisp has the ball. Anderson chips the pass. Sinclair made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Puts the head down as he runs in. That's a goal and that's nine points. Martin can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Grundy with the mighty fist. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Tiziani is streaming past and gets the footy. Approaching the goals now. Crocker made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. He's running hot, Richard. He seems to always be in the contest, Dennis. I would have expected him to nail that. Rance is one of the most astute decision makers in the game. Footy is becoming more and more a thinking game. And you can't be out there purely on physical ability. He's a great asset to his club. A good fist. Asprey collects it. Tiziani passes it. Dacos doesn't receive the ball. He kicks the ball. And the ball is out of play. Umpire calls for a throw-in. The ball has been thrown in. Grundy punches it. Rance with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. A free kick paid for some off-ball trouble. He shows the quick hands. Hooli, not phased by the pressure, gets his kick away. Gets the loose ball. Gathered by Marriage. Hunt threading the needle right there. Kicked by Floston. He has space for an easy mark. Cochin caught with the ball. Aish sends the ball on its way. Cleanly picked up. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. He is using the ball superbly, Dennis. It's like he has the ball on a string. The ball in the hands of Shaki. He has the ball, lobs the pass. No one in the goal square. What a great goal by Dacos. That's two now. He's playing well.
Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Marriage, I've seen better swings on a condemned playground. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. He gets his hands on the footy. Gets boot to leather. Crisp with the spoil. Now oh, that's just giving the ball away. Nicely intercepted by Grimes. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Floston feeds it wide. Lambert looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Jams it on the boot now. Strong mark by Griffiths. A long way out. Griffiths hammers the ball for goal. Griffiths goes long and gets the goal. He's kicked four and he looks like he's not done scoring yet. Marriage with the punch. Otten gets it on the bounce. Nice interception. Gets a handball away towards the man on the run. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. Griffiths takes aim for goals. I would have expected him to nail that. Shade. It's really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. It's in his possession. Martin gets the footy. Smothers it. Crisp has had plenty of it, Richo. Yep, Dennis, he's a class act. He controls the bouncing ball. Bumps the pigskin. Caught. Let's have a shot at goal is as good as the delivery. Going for goal number five. Griffiths with the goal. The Tigers by 13. Richmond forwards are marking everything and converting their set shots. It's meant that the Richmond midfielders have had complete faith in their forwards and are using them as the preferred avenue to goal. Prestiak with his head down, running for home. Score for the Tigers. <laughs> Richmond could scored the last three goals. The Tigers with a healthy gap on the scoreboard leading the Magpies 75 to 56. Otten is streaming past and gets the footy. Caught. He plays on. Wills with the handball out of the pack. Greenwood taking a chance at goal. That'll do some damage on the scoreboard. All is in readiness. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. Big thump from Grundy. He's got the footy in his hands. Hey, nice play, Shakespeare. Crocker picks up the loose ball. Aish picks up the loose ball. Too slow with the handball. He picks it up. He handballs. Aish. He kicks it. Solid goal. What a timely goal. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Good bounce. Grundy with the hit. Tiziani sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Handball finds Aish. Hands it out to open space. He's streaming in for goal. He copped a nasty knock. The loose ball scooped up. The loose ball scooped up. Grundy on the ball at the moment. It's like he has the ball on a screen. He surely won't miss from this distance. This is a great angle to kick from. He kicks it. Is it? Is it? Yeah. He just pulled an absolute rabbit out of his sock. That's his third. He's doing his job out there. Dacos. With a sigh of relief, you can see it on his face as he nails a crucial goal. Hampson gets the tap. He controls the bouncing ball. Tackle, but gets the handball off. He handballs, grabs it and takes off. Look at him go. If they get this, they'll take the lead. Nice bounce. Grundy with the hit. The loose ball picked up. Tiziani sends it to open space. Grimes is getting the ball again and again. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. Brown hitting him. Watch his style. Brown just gets it through. The players with massive smiles on their faces now. They needed that. I've got to say, that's even a better goal the second time around. What a great start to the football year for the Magpies. Collingwood can be happy with that win. It will give them the confidence they need to go into the home and away season. Now that it's all over, how did you see that game, Richo? Never give up. Failure and rejection are only the first steps to succeeding. The final score of this match is Collingwood 83 to Tigers 81. That's it for this match. Thanks to my co-commentator, Matthew Richardson. It's been my pleasure, Dennis. We look forward to having everyone back soon.